Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I have another memory spread for you guys and I am memory planning for the week of July 15th through July 21st and for this week I am using a really fun kit and this is from Lexi Kylie Designs. I did go on a girls trip this week with some of my friends um, up to Montana so I thought this kit would be so perfect for that because one of the boxes has like these girls taking Polaroid pictures together so it just reminds me of me and my friends. So really quickly I'm going to go over what the kit includes. Um, I did receive this limited freebie. I think it's because I had purchased when this was a new release and it comes with an additional full box, a quarter box and some um, functional icons. The kit also came with a set of these glitter headers, but I think I'm going to pull some in from Mandy Dreams because I really like the chunky um, glitter texture. So I think I'm going to do that instead. Here we have nine full boxes and three quarter boxes at the bottom, and I just love these colors so much. They're so bright and they just pop so vibrantly. It's perfect for summer. On this page, we have the weekend banner. We have some functional icons, text stickers, heart check flags, some regular flags. We have a three heart checklist and three habit trackers. It's such a full kit. Here we have two build do stickers and then some headers at the bottom. On this page, we have the bottom washi, some more text stickers at the top, a Monday through Sunday tracker, and then I think these are just different sized washi strips. Here we have eight full box checklists. We have another Monday through Sunday tracker, and I think these are just like boxes with different um, designs. And then we have two sets of date covers. So this kit I think is meant to use over two different weeks. We have some deco pieces and some headers and little things. And the last page here has half boxes, quarter boxes, and then more um, headers of different patterns. So definitely a very, very large kit. Um, I already know I'm gonna have a ton left over, but I think I just picked up the full kit because it was on sale when I picked it up so I thought I might as well and I'll just save all the leftovers to give away um, later on so anyways I want to go ahead and get started and yeah I hope you guys enjoy for my bottom washi this week I decided to use only one of the washi strips that came in the kit and then I decided to pull in one of my own washies from my collection and the one I chose is actually a like text washi as you can see um, I got it as a sampler but I'm pretty sure it came from like a Michaels roll and it just says shine bright which I thought was just a really good sentiment for this kit but also that purple color matched really nicely as well. Once I go ahead and put down the washi on both sides, I move to my sidebar, and for this week, I decided to do something a little bit different. I still decided to white out the large July design in the corner, but instead of lining up my full box to where the rest of the week starts, I decided to scoot it all the way to the top, and then I continued to build my sidebar. I put down a glitter header from Mandy Dreams, and then I used a habit tracker to track my working out. I then used a quarter box with the first Monday through Sunday box to track my happy moments of the week. And then I put down another quarter box with the second Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. And this new Erin Condren planner comes with like this little monthly calendar at the bottom, which I'm not super fond of. So I do go ahead and wipe that out, which I've been doing every single week. And then I decided to shift up the boxes a little bit to make some room so that I can put this large strip of washi at the bottom. That was just like an extra strip of the washi that came with the kit. And I think usually you can use that as like a regular box but I decided to kind of make it look like the washi was extending all the way through. I put down the text stickers from the kit as headers for my sidebar and then I move on to Monday. So the first thing I do is I put down this get it done three heart checklist to mark some things that I did that morning. I was flying out to Seattle that day so I definitely had some things that I wanted to get done before and then I used a little things to mark what I had for lunch. I then moved to the bottom and put down the full box with a lemonade and then continuing with my day, I used an airplane sticker from Very Cute Designs to mark my flight to Seattle. One of my best friends was already up in Seattle, so she came and picked me up um, and we were going to drive out to Montana together the next day. And then I decided to go ahead and lay down some boxes so I knew like how much spacing I had for the rest of the day. So on the quarter box, I put down a heart sticker from Kylie and Chaos. I'm not sure if her shop is still open. I haven't checked in a while, but I used that to mark that I was reunited with my best friend. And then I used a um, glitter header with a half box and a Thai food sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark the Thai food that we got for dinner. I then used a little things with a grocery sticker from the kit to mark that we went to the grocery store really quick to grab some beers. And then at the end of the night, my friend and I just watched a stand-up comedy together. And it was this guy called Nate Bargatze and his, um, I think it's called like Tennessee Boy or something like that. But his stand-up on Netflix is really funny. So I would recommend you guys checking that out if you enjoy stand-up comedy. Um, the TV sticker I pulled in is from the kit. 
I moved on to Tuesday, so first I put down a glitter header, and then I used a quarter box with that little bow in the middle, which I think is so pretty, to mark that we kind of had a lazy morning when we woke up, and then we got ready and grabbed some food and boba before heading out on our road trip. So I put that on a quarter box, and the boba sticker I put down is from Paper Bear Co. I then put down a full box and on the full box, I decided to mark that on the way to Montana, we stopped by Spokane to pick up a few other friends who were going on the trip with us. And to mark that, I just use a location tag sticker, which is from Simply Laura Paper Shop. Once we picked them up, we went and grabbed some dinner and we had to try Dutch Bros, which is this like really famous coffee place that we don't have in Southern California. So I was really excited to try it because I've heard like the most amazing things and it was so good and so worth making a detour for. Um, so I put that on a two heart checklist that I cut up. The coffee sticker is from a shop that's no longer open, unfortunately. And then to mark that we made it to Montana, I put that on a quarter box and I used another location tag sticker. I think this one is from Hazel Sticker and it's so cute and bubbly. And I just used my brush lettering pen to mark the town that we were going to be staying in for the next few days. And then at the end of the night before we went to bed, we um, played some games. So I used this game night sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that. Then on Wednesday, I first put down a full box at the top and I chose the one with the Polaroid because on this day we did so much stuff together and I just felt like that was so perfect to represent that. Um, first, I marked our breakfast. Um, our friend's mom actually cooked for us, which was so sweet of her because we were staying over at her place. And so I put that on a little things and then we went on a really, really gruesome hike. It was so rough also because it started like raining as we got to the top. I used a half box to mark that and then I pulled in this hiking sticker from Paper and Milk which I later switched for another sticker that was on that same sheet. After the hike, we went and grabbed some beers at a nearby brewery, and I swear that was like the best beer I've ever had, and it's probably semi-related to the fact that we just had a really hard hike, but it was so delicious. And to mark that, I pulled in this Beer Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co., like I mentioned earlier, I switched out the hiking sticker. I just really like the one with the mountain and the sun. And then I continue on with a day. And on this part, I had a really, really hard time figuring out how I wanted to mark our evening. So initially I put down like a flag sticker and then a quarter box with the fire to mark that we had a bonfire, but I didn't really like how that turned out. So I ended up going for a glitter header with a half box instead to mark that we did the bonfire and had some girl talk time, which is always really, really nice. And that fire sticker is from Sunset Sticker Co. After our bonfire sesh, we went back inside and played some more games to end the night. So I used this dice sticker, which is from Hazel Sticker. And I just want to apologize for the profanity that I had put down. It was just the name of the game. So hopefully nobody is super offended by that. Um, but anyways, then moving to Thursday, I initially put down this floral header with a yellow quarter box to mark what we had for breakfast. And then underneath that, I wanted to mark that we played some games on the patio that day. Um, it was not really warm that day, unfortunately. And we were supposed to go on a river float so we were kind of taking up time waiting for the sun to come out and it never really did but we wanted to float anyway so we just did it like in the cold and it turned out to be really fun so to mark the float i put down a glitter header with a half box and i used this shock emoji from the coffee monsters co um just because that's how i felt about getting in the cold water in like 65 degree weather then underneath that i put down a quarter box and a full box on the quarter box i just marked where we got some dinner and i had like the best chicken sandwich Sandwich, so I use this burger sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams to mark that and then at the end of the night We went and grabbed some beers at a few local bars and it was a really interesting scene So I used a beer sticker from Dizzy Daisy Dreams before moving to Friday, I decided to switch up the header and the quarter box, I think because I wanted to pull in more purple in that space. So I put down a purple today header and um, that pancake sticker is from Kina Prince. On Friday, I started by putting down a larger washi strip with this crying egg sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we had to say goodbye to Montana as we were heading home that day. It's always so bittersweet having to head home from a fun trip. And then underneath that, I put down a full box. And on our way back to Spokane, we stopped by this little town in Idaho. It's called Bonner's Ferry. And they have a really cute store called Under the Sun that we wanted to check out. My friends had been there before and they like love going. So we stopped by and I used the shopping bag sticker that came in the kit. 
I felt like my writing took up too much space and I had so many things to mark still. And so I kind of adjusted everything um, to just kind of like consolidate that a bit more. And then to mark my flight home, I actually took two different flights home because there was like a layover. And so to mark my first flight, I used a glitter header with a quarter box. That plain sticker is from a shop that's no longer open, unfortunately. And then underneath that, I used a little things to mark that my friend and I had some spring rolls at the Portland airport where we had a layover. And then um, we flew out from Portland back home. So I used another plain sticker from Very Cute Designs, which is the same one that I used on Monday. When I got home, it was already pretty late. It was probably like nine or 10 o'clock. Um, so I ended up having some tacos while we watched this like taco show on Netflix. And I just thought that was so perfect. Um, so I pulled in this taco sticker. I believe that is from Olivier Hall Studio. For Saturday, I decided to put down a full box at the bottom before I moved back to the top. And um, first I started out by putting down a glitter header with a half box. And then I pulled in this really cute heart sunglasses sticker that is from Hazel Sticker um, to mark that we went paddle boarding that morning for a friend's birthday. And I actually really enjoy paddle boarding. It's probably like the only like water sport that I really like because I don't really like getting in the water. Um, and with the paddle board, you don't actually get in. So I kind of really enjoy that. And then afterwards, there was like a 11 right by where we parked so of course we had to stop in to get an icy and to mark that I used a little flag sticker from the kit and that coffee sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co. I just figured that was like the closest thing to an icy that I had. We then went and got some brunch at this pancake place um, also part of my friend's birthday and that pancake sticker is from Happy Daya Stickers. I then took a nap when I got home. So initially I used a header with this nap queen sticker from MJ and Hope to mark my nap. Um, but you'll see me switching that out later on just because it took up a lot of space. And then above the full box, I put down a washi strip with a mahjong sticker from Hazel Sticker to mark that we played mahjong with my parents that night. I replaced the nap queen sticker with this really cute napping cat sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper. And I just love that so much, but I think this is the first time I've ever pulled it in. So I was really glad I got to use it. And then in the remaining space, I just put down a grocery sticker that came in the kit to mark that we did some groceries before we played Mahjong. Moving to Sunday, I first put down a Today header at the top, and then on the quarter box, I marked that my boyfriend had made some biscuits that morning. He's really good at making them, and they're so good, so I definitely wanted to mark that. And then um, I used a header with a Do This text sticker over it, and I cut up a three heart checklist to mark some things that I did that day. I put down a full box and then underneath that I used a half box with a pizza sticker. I think that one is from Sunset Sticker Co. I marked that we went back to the 7-Eleven we were at the day before because I had left my hat there and I really liked that hat so I wanted to go back and get it. And then while we were out there we went to one of our favorite pizza places which was nearby so um, that's why I used the pizza icon. And then afterwards we stopped by a friend's house to watch Netflix but I realized that I wasn't really able to fit everything I wanted so I went ahead and just cut off a little bit from the full box and then I was able to shift up that half box and make a little more room at the bottom. At the end of the night, my boyfriend and I ended up watching the same um, stand-up comedy that I had watched with my friend earlier in the week because I really wanted to show it to him since I really enjoyed it and he also really liked it as well um, so that was really fun and the TV sticker is from the kit. That is it for this very eventful week. So now I'm just going back to fill in my sidebar and I definitely didn't do very well on the working out. I think I counted the hike as a workout because it was just so intense. Um, but anyways, now I'm just putting down all the date covers and for Saturday and Sunday, instead of putting down the date covers, I decided to put the weekend banner on top just because I really love this weekend banner, but I had no space to put it like during the day since I was so busy that weekend. Um, so this is always like a really good alternative to getting to use a weekend banner without having to waste any space and the last thing that I'm doing is just sticking down some deco pieces at the top just because they came in the kit and I wanted to use them and then now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in the kit as expected I have so much leftover so I'll definitely add this to my leftovers pile and yeah that is it for today's spread I love how this turned out and it just like makes me so happy looking at it because it reminds me of all the fun times that I had during this week um, I totally love memory planning for that purpose just because I feel like I can relive um, the week that I really enjoyed, especially over the summer when I wasn't working. Um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is so bright and vibrant and I don't use yellow a lot in my planning. So this is definitely um, very unique for me. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please let me know if you have any questions and um, I will talk to you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Bye.